Glory to God. Welcome to a new week. What a great privilege to be seen um, this new week. It's a Monday and guess what? The joy of the Lord is your strength. Amen. Do you know where that scripture is found? It's found in the book of Nehemiah. He would not be making this statement if there was nothing trying to attack his joy. The people worked so hard. At this point, they had made it to a level where they could celebrate. Nehemiah built the wall. Now, I will stop to say this, especially to leaders. Those that are called to lead a lot of people in the kingdom, or maybe you are a supervisor at work. Your determination will spill over to the people that are under you. Nehemiah is looked up to by so many people, even in a contemporary day, in even today. Why? Because he decided to stand. I don't know if you know this. It could be a surprise or you already know it. That war was not built by Nehemiah alone. It was a joint effort with a lot of other people. But all of these people, talented, needed a leader that would be able to encourage them and defy every form of distraction so they could be the war. And guess who took the job? Nehemiah. Why is he looked upon or even um, sound like he did it by himself? Because he decided to stand. Leadership is a privilege. Leadership is an opportunity to create room for other people to do what they were created to do. If you are a leader and you have not mastered distraction, then I ask you, to study and understand and know what to do when you're distracted. Every ministry, every family, every occupation has goals. They have end plans. They plan with a goal, end goal. They plan with an end in their mind. There is nothing that will succeed just by a temporal vision. What are we saying? In the kingdom, our father will only start when it's concluded. Daddy always reviews the end from the beginning. The best way to produce a product is to understand the solution that product is going to provide. For you to be relevant, for you to be an outstanding leader, you have to understand your uniqueness in that company. To understand your uniqueness in the body of Christ. If you're not solving a problem, then your uniqueness might not be needed. That thing you feel that is not valuable, what well, here this morning, to encourage and tell you that that gift you think is not valuable, it is valuable in the kingdom. Nehemiah was a cup bearer. You might think the qualities of a cup bearer is not needed. Or how can a cup bearer lead people to build a wall? You'll be surprised. You will be. The father has trained you and is expecting you to stand out and lead other people to do what is called them to do. And you're asking yourself if you're qualified. Who qualifies you? We know that before daddy said do it, he has already trained you. The end is already packaged. It, you, you already packaged with the end, with the result he wants to accomplish. All he wants you to do is what? Step out. But there's this one quality you need. The quality to be able to say no to distraction. And encourage other people not to be distracted. That is what singled Nehemiah out. Even from the king's palace, we hear the Bible say he was always a joyful man. To the point where the day he was sad, the king noticed it. 
What is your unique quality? I want you to search inside of you this morning. Search out your unique quality and use it to build the people God has brought into your life as a leader. It, you could be a mom, a stay-at-home mom. What is your unique leadership quality to the children you're leading or you're training? CEO, what is your unique beauty in that company? What is that unique answer you bring to that corporation, that ministry, that family? Nehemiah could encourage. He could stand in the face of destruction and still encourage people. No doubt he said the joy of the Lord is your strength. People don't be sad. Be joyful because that's where our strength is. And at the end of the day, mission was accomplished. Why? Because of the quality of a leader that could still be happy and joyful in the midst of distraction. Overcome distraction today by being joyful. There's a message by man of God, he said, joy is a serious business of heaven. I'm telling you the weapon of joy is a mass destructive weapon against distraction. When the enemy begin to make all the noises in your ear, release your last joker, which is what? Joy. Nehemiah said, the joy of the Lord is your strength. I want you to take the weapon of joy today and let it be your strength. In Jesus' name, amen and amen.